so beautiful, she is strong, she is strong, oh yeah, she is powerful, so guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video guys so today i'm trying something a little bit different i am outside 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 yes so i decided to do this video outside i'm trying a different scenery see how it works how i like it for my videos so for today guys i'm actually doing part two of my fitness journey and for this video i will be focusing on um where I am in terms of weight, where my if I am at the weight I intend to be at this time, as well as I'll be looking at the changes in my body. But before we get into that though, guys, you know, I just want you guys to go ahead and, you know, if you're here and you have not yet subscribed, so just go ahead and hit that button, you know, hit that subscribe button because you know that's what would love for you to do also hit that like button gives me give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you like my channel so far and as we go through the video go ahead and leave me a comment or comments you know let's talk down there in the comment section guys okay so so guys before i actually get into the weights management to weight update and the changes in my body update i want to just go back a bit um the last video would have been six weeks into my fitness journey yeah when i did that last video i'll put the card here so that you can see that last video if you haven't watched it as yet and i'll also link it in the description so you can watch it after if you want to watch it after you know so you can catch up on what has been happening what was happening before yeah so since then that was i ended that video at week six since then i would have done i think this is week 10 yeah this is week 10 so i would have done two weeks on the hill i haven't been back to the gym since um since um because of the spike in cases here but i have been working out at home still doing my live um leg lifts my crunches um, sit-ups I bought a skipping rope um, that was in my old Jamaican games video that's when I ha I got the skipping ropes so I've been using that as well and there hasn't been much change to my diet still haven't had bread or rice I have had about two cheat days with KFC in week 9 I think that was week 9 yes week 9 unfortunately um but i've been trying to work that off in case it decides to settle in my abdominal area as most fatty food does um further updates since then i have been on the hill twice like as in doing the route twice i've done that yep gone up twice um so yeah and i went to blue mountain so I will just show you a little piece or some clips of what Blue Mountain was like, what the experience was like. And also you can go and watch my vlog for Blue Mountain. I'll put that as well at the end of this video. So you'll see the links to two videos. My workout video, which is part one of this, my fitness journey part one. And also the cabin life for Blue Mountain link that will also be at the end of the video because I want to go watch it and I also put it in the description so I can go watch it and some you get me. So now we're just going to backtrack a little bit to week I think it was week eight. I have a little clip from then, so I'm just going to show you that now. So, so this go. is week nine and I'm currently at the foot of the hill, but it's raining and I'm also waiting on my friend Chriselle. So while we wait on the, way, the rain to cool down, I just decided to give you guys a little update. So I need to do a weight check because this episode will definitely be about where my body is. 
So I'll be showing you, maybe I should do it later when I get home. I'll be showing you what changes have happened within the areas I've been focusing on, which are my tummy, my sides, my back. Um, unfortunately, I've lost weight in my thighs, which is a part of the whole exercise regime. But um, I'm seeking different ways now in which I can exercise to maybe build back some, build my thigh muscles. Yeah. Um, but otherwise from losing the thighs I am pleased with what is happening so that would definitely make a balance to everything that I'm doing um, so it's after 5 now I'm hoping by 5.30 the rain will cool down a bit so that we can make our way up before it gets dark the place gets dark a little bit earlier so the sun is setting earlier um, which would give us less time on the hill I am kind of alright so after day one for blue mountain there was no pain really um i didn't feel anything more than what i would feel from exercising on the hill um that would have been monday on tuesday today's wednesday so on tuesday i started to feel pain in my calf region so i decided wake up today wednesday again with the pain in my calf region so i decided that it's time for me to come back to me and try to work out that pain so that's why i'm here I'm um, just watching this weather to see looks like it's stopping to see hopefully we can go up now yeah um, the road is wet so I don't think there'll be any sprints but really today is not focused on me pu pushing but just to try to work out some of the pain I don't want to break my cycle too much and then when I start coming back on the hill it's harder so after such a rigid weekend with blue mountain i think it's time for me to get back out um walk, walking the hill is a really a weight loss activity but i am thinking of ways i can probably adjust my diet um i don't really want to go back on rice and bake products and so and guys today i had patty it's the first in two months it's two months it's over two months i'm having patty almost three months but I really, really, really felt for it, and I thought I deserved it. <laughs> yeah, I thought I deserved it, hence why I had it. So yeah, um, that's what's that's what's that's right there. Yeah, man, I look at me with myself. That's it right there. Um, that diet adjustments probably to see what i can do to help to build muscles maybe eating more protein or whatever you guys can let me know in the comment section any recommendations i'll really consider it all right so the rain has stopped so i'm going to just um call christy because she's here now and make her way up so tune in out Go. back to real time that, that's something i make that sure i make wally nice so yes and now we're back to real time guys and this is where i'll be showing you um clips of how my body has been changing so i'll show you now there is before and after my the first this is updates within this last four weeks which would be month two these yeah these will come basically come from month two yeah so the first clip was actually in this first picture was actually in august this was the day i started well i made a decision to start my fitness journey um this is when i went to hollywell with a few friends and boy i'm nearly dead in the egg like my body did just tired i made it stress out from a half an hour egg and that's when i realized that i really needed to do something i'm gonna put the card up here to take it to hollywell video and also the link in my description so that's when I decided that I needed to do something I was gaining. As you realize, I had a lot of weight in my face and I was gaining a lot of weight in my abdominal region. So I wanted to fix that. Um, these fix now would have been week two, week two or three. I'll confirm and I'll just put a little note down here. 
of the journey um I, week two because i wanted to have a before what i looked like before doing the hill so this video would have been on my second day on the hill um to backtrack a bit the hill going up and down works out to roughly i think it's 3.5 kilometers yeah 3.5 kilometers going up and down so i this is what i looked like before um, starting to work out and before doing the what I'm calling yes so this video would have been before I started to do a lot of the hill which is works out a lot of cardio um, as I said I'm not only doing cardio I'm also doing a lot of um, leg exercise and abdominal exercises as well then this next picture is actually in week eight i did this these photos in week eight as you realize um although my abdominal area is not exactly a six pack worthy it is still a far stretch in eight weeks that's two months of my exercise um Noting well that I only did uh, I only did four sessions at the gym because I had registered three sessions three sessions at the gym because I had registered for weekends um, but then I got the injury in my ankle which made me miss my last session because I was out for two weeks and then the spikes in the cases I didn't go back after hopefully me can get back my, my one session when I go back I might just continue yeah so you realize here for this picture i lost a weight in my abdominal area if you are to compare the previous picture before to my face i've also lost weight in my face unfortunately unfortunately i also lost weight in my thighs i'm a really wanted so now i'd really like to know how i can gain back weight in my thighs yeah and to at the start of the journey guys i weighed a whopping 191 pounds now of all the times of speaking to my my doctor my gynae is also a nutritionist so i'm visiting my gynae at 175 i know 175 and over he has always been saying that i'm overweight so imagine me going back to him now to tell him that my 191 pounds are when they tell me say so i did a weight check today and timestamp today is october 17 yes today is october 17 2020 and because you'll be seeing this video after that but today when i checked my weight guys i lost 11 i lost all of 11 pounds so i now weigh 180 pounds i am still five pounds over my recommend recommended balanced well borderline weight because he said 175 was my borderline weight for my um height and so i'm five pounds over that but honestly my target weight was 180 so i'm currently at 180 but i am looking to build muscle so that might carry me back up so i don't know I'm not the fitness expert here. I don't know if I need to lose some more and then build the muscles back up to 180 region or I can stay here and build on it. I really don't know. But guys, so I've lost 10 pounds. All of 10 pounds. Yes, I lost 10 pounds. 
and it's only 10 weeks which is two months and two weeks yes i am two weeks away from my intended target previously which was three months because it was my intention to make my three fitness videos in three months but i think my next update is going to be january that's unreasonable yeah because december is going to be a really busy month for me um but i have some little goals i'm trying to set in place for myself and may i give myself till december so part three video will be out in january and i won't tell you what part three will be about but when part three comes out you'll see what my, you will hear what my goals were and i will show you the updates so basically i'm giving myself another because we're mid-october so basically i'm giving myself another three months two and a half months probably by the time i post the video it would be three months in order to achieve my new set goals and when i do guys i'll definitely come back and show you the updates just like comic on show no my body or it is there before or it's there no even though it might not be you know top notch six pack kind of body but it's it's been a good journey so far um dieting is the hardest part of this for me to be quite honest because my love fast food love fast food up to this and then boy the flower thing hard floating hard but then again um i don't think since the last i think since the last video i probably ate one dumpling well one boiled dumpling unfortunately i had fried dumpling today I have to be real with you, I have to tell you where I have to I had three fried dumplings this morning. I don't think I am the person who cannot eat fried dumplings, to be quite honest with you, but I'm trying to reduce. But yeah, otherwise from that, the dieting has been good. So yeah, so that's where I'll be wrapping up this video for today. This is like my fitness diary. Can you see I'm wrap up my ear? So this is like my fitness diary part two weight management and this is where it will end so guys um let me know in the comment section any recommendations you have for my because i did tell you parts of what i want which is building muscles in my thighs um i don't tell you already so i'm gonna have no ass i'm gonna know if me can get no ass but if you don't think me can get ass then i can put a recommendation down the bottom and i will consider it yeah so let me know in the comment section any recommendations you have that you think um activity um exercises that might help me with that part of my goal let me know and let me know anything else you think i can change up a little bit about um my current workouts my current workout strategy guys the only thing about this outside thing is that I think that was a sunfly or something. But otherwise from that, I'm loving it here. Yeah, so let me know in the comment section, guys. Any recommendations you guys have as you realize I am straying so much on this video. <laughs> it's not even funny. But thank you again, guys, for tuning in for my video, for my updates on my fitness journey. Thank you. Until next time, guys, stay safe. Bye.